The first barn we built was this actual sow barn. And you can kind of see where the concrete split, where we added concrete and pieces and stuff. But we built these original, uh, you know, 10 by 40 pins, five of them, because that's where we kind of started off with all the sows that fit in here. Then we had to add the dirt lot down there. And then we built the show barn. And then we just started adding some of these double L and archway buildings as well too. So my biggest thing was always trying to build it sturdy enough. When you, when you can find pigs into a small area, they're gonna wanna tear something up. So building it right from the start, you know, um, spending maybe a little bit of extra time and money on something, you know, in terms of getting the gates welded in right and having your water set up just correctly. That was pretty huge for me. We have three big dirt pins. I think they're about 40 foot wide. And we built them not too long ago, just for like our Texas weather. The most we've ever put is about 35 per pin. So down here is about 90 to 105 that we can run. You know, we have the three little huts that we have out there and we'll just bed them out there and back and forth and we'll feed them here on this concrete. We'll do most of the breeding down here just because it's easy. We can bring the boar down, he'll come down here and then really just feeding the sows every morning. We've got the two big bins behind us. What's worked really good for us is these block walls. Metal just always seems to rust on me. So like the, we, when we do it this way, it's worked really good. So that, that was definitely a must. And then just having a big dirt piece that we could let the sows out onto, just for sow longevity and health. And just like for conception rate, this has seemed to work the best. We have five boar pens and we really haven't gotten huge into like doing the boar thing yet. We've been really trying and, and but most of the boars that we have on the property are ones that we're gonna use pretty heavy. If we're not using them really heavy, we try to move them down the road or go down the line with them. And we, and we do sell a good bit of semen here or there, but most of the stuff is just boars that we use in house. So this is where we keep most of the boars. We've got five big pens, and I believe they're 10 by 15s, and they work really good just to give the boars kind of some space. They stay on all concrete. This whole setup has worked really good for us just because they get a lot of fresh air, keeps the boars really healthy. I'm not one to keep them super fat because they got to stay in there working clothes for me to be able to use them and, and then the longevity of the boar. Um, you know, I think the water source is really good to have a really clean, fresh water for them and just keeping their pens super clean and, and keeping bedding in it. So these cell pens, obviously we talked, those were the, kind of the first ones we had put together and made. And so like this time of year, we're getting, we just finished breeding for, um, you know, into January, February borns. And so that'll be for our state fair in October. With, with the setup, we were able to breed all 50 of these sows in about four days. So it, it's really functional. We can get work done a lot faster and a lot more efficient. All these gates on the backside will swing open. So that, that back piece actually has concrete, but it's, it's brought down about four or five inches where we can go ahead and, and clean all that out back there. This whole sow barn up here is run off the feed system. So these buckets just fill up and you pull some levers and it dumps to them every morning. Uh, roughly we'll have anywhere from 900 to 1100 in a, in a yearly span. So we've got seven pins here. If I've got like a hurt sow or any extra boars or any small pigs I need to move out here, we kind of use these pins for that, just kind of holdover pins. And then I've got five pins here. I, we just call it our finishing floor. So we can put anywhere from babies to hurt sows, anything we really got to put on a cell feeder to get fat and move out here, we'll do that. Um, during the year, like October, September, we'll have lots of gilts out here that we're leasing um, for people to see. So really after the sow lot, the next big thing is like some of these buildings that we have. So a farrowing house is just where basically we'll farrow all the, the moms into. That'll be anywhere from 18 to 21 days and get them weaned into what we call the hot nursery. So the hot nursery is just a really high temperature building to keep those babies warm and keep them growing and moving. Once they've been in there two to three weeks and the, the babies are really consuming feed good, drinking water well, then we'll move them into what's called our grower building. And they'll be in there from anywhere from I'd say 30 to 60 pounds. And then that's when we kind of get a really good read on what's gonna be a high quality show pig, what's gonna be kind of average. Most of the time we put all the barras on in either two of our chip barns, um, which this is one of them here. We introduced like the worm flooring, just a non-slick flooring that we can get the pigs out for people up and down the alley where they can really see them. We're not having to put shavings in here. We actually bought the Vitito panels not too long ago. That's the blue panels in here. And just where the whole gate will open up. We've kind of made it where it all flow together as best as we could when we piece all this together. The sows that are down in the lot, we'll walk them up here, bring them up here, or the sows that are over here. We've got this ramp that can go. We've got the two farren houses that are on the right side, and then we've got the two hot nurseries that are on the left side. So obviously they'll go into the farren house. Once they leave the farren house, the babies will go into the hot nursery. And then just past this hot nursery is our big grower building that we'll take them into after that. And then after the grower building, 
that can kind of go each direction we've been to, into this show barn, into the cell facility show barn a, a couple miles down the road, or to our finishing floor where we release most of the gills at. Hey, I'm Luke Lidner with Lidner Show Pigs. Welcome to our barn in Comfort, Texas.